your measurements which you can find online for free some of them cost money but most of them don't we need a ruler and a pencil too um so today we're gonna be making the pauper pattern and so basically you'll have a sheet of paper and it should look like this it should have uh, the fold and like it'll have the number of folds you need so you have to choose out a book that has the number you need and then it has 3.10 and 14.25 this isn't the right sheet for what i'm doing so <laughs> Basically, you need to measure that out. So this one is actually 7.7 .7 and 8.4. And so once you've measured that out, you mark it here like so. If you can see that. I think you can see that. Yep. There. Um, and then you fold, like fold it over. And it should look like something like this. You always fold like when you have the fold, no matter if it... If it's here, if the other one's there, like it'll be look like that. Or if it's super close together and you can't like fit it in, like that goes like all the way across, you have to get this and you have to rip it off. So then you can fold it all the way over. So if, let's say if this one needs to come over here, you have to fold that all the way over there, then you get that rip it off and fold all the way over there. Okay, and so for the next one, you check your measurements again. Obviously, this isn't the right sheet. Um, so measure it out. This one in particular is 7.4 and this one is 8.5. See, they only, they usually, if they're in a row, they will not vary much in like shape because you don't want like a, dr a dramatic change of shape. And so then you fold, pull it over. See if I skip to over here, that's when you kind of have a big difference, I guess. That's when you start to move over. So basically you should be going in a straight line for a little while and then you'll be moving over. But basically, yeah. 